Hello all, it is the week of August 2nd, 2022, and from Locus, the magazine of science fiction fantasy, I'm here to tell you all about the new science fiction fantasy and horror books that are coming out this week. Forgive me, I'm a little low energy today, and my brain is 40% mashed potato, but we're gonna plow ahead. I have 10 fantasy titles, nine science fiction titles, and three horror titles, all hitting shelves, real and virtual, from various book publishers. Like a scream in a vacuum, does it make a sound when a book hits a virtual shelf? Let's start with the fantasy. From Riverhead and Mossin Hamid, we saw The Last White Man, in hardcover ebook and audio. Kirkus called it a brilliantly realized allegory of racial transformation. Hamid's latest opens with a scenario worthy of Kafka. A young man named Anders awakens to find he has turned a deep and undeniable brown. Faced with the shock of this metamorphosis, he punches the mirror that reveals the stranger who is he. Across the land, people are awakening in new incarnations, uncertain how their neighbors, friends, and family will greet them. A story of love, loss, and rediscovery. From Berkeley and author Rachel Linden, we saw The Magic of Lemon Drop Pie in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy slash magical realism novel. Lolly, working in her family's diner and pining over the life she might have had, always a recipe for feeling good about your choices, gets a strange gift, three lemon drops, each letting her see a single day in an alternate version of her life includes a pie recipe. 3.14159. From MCD and Alan Heathcock, we saw the near future apocalyptic science fiction novel 40 in hardcover, ebook, and audio. Kirkus says the dystopian ingredients are familiar, but Heathcock combines them in a potent metaphorical stew. So it's a future American Civil War. Soldier Mazzy Goodwin wakes up in a bomb crater with wings, and a fundamentalist revolutionary's promise to reunite her with her missing sister if she'll act as their miraculous figurehead. What could possibly go wrong. On to science fiction highlights. From Joma West, we saw Face in hardcover, ebook, and audio out from Tor.com from the Locus Review by Karen Gusoff Sumption. In the future, touch and physical intimacy have become abhorrent ideas. Coupling is done voluntarily, but partners are chosen based on their appearance. Highly complementary or contrasting skin, hair, and eye colors are a popular guideline for a coupling aesthetic or the social clout they bring to the union. Gone are any taboos about gender and sexuality, as well as any notion of love or passion. The goal is always to climb the social ladder. From Valerie Valdez, we saw Fault Tolerance in trade paperback, ebook, and audio published by Harper Voyager. This is a space opera SF novel, third in the entertaining trilogy begun in chilling effect. Captain Ava Innocente, her crew, and her psychic cats. Let's just pause right there. Um, you gonna tell me any cat isn't psychic? Okay. Uh, discuss. Anyway, she and the cats get involved when monoliths appear across the universe, demanding the surrender of all occupied systems. Valdez is co-editor at Escape Pod, and her debut novel, Chilling Effect, was shortlisted for the Arthur C. Clarke Award. From Jamie Ford, we saw The Many Daughters of Afong Moy in hardcover ebook and audio out from Atria. This is an SF novel about seven generations of women, all fictional descendants of Afong Moy, believed by some to be the first Chinese woman to come to America. Dorothy Moy and her five-year-old daughter undertake an experimental treatment to mitigate inherited trauma carried in genetic memory. From Mike Kupari, we saw Trouble Walked In and trade paperback and ebook out from Bain. Warped Factor describes it like this, a nice twisting detective story involving what might be an alien archaeological dig on this planet, as well as corporate skullduggery that threatens to unravel so much of what the characters hold dear. There's an infiltration of a hospital, as well as a visit to the seedy nightclubs of the planet's largest city, all tied together in a manner resembling the deeply necessary and yet very elegant knots on a sailing ship. From Victor Manibo, we saw The Sleepless in hardcover ebook and audio. Sparkly Pretty Bright called it a skillfully executed, utterly immersive story of one man's quest to clear his name, reclaim his soul, and hopefully save the world in the process. This is a near-future SF novel. A pandemic causes a quarter of the world to lose the ability to sleep, without apparent health problems. Finally in SF, we saw from Tor and editor George R.R. R. Martin, Wild Cards, Full House, in hardcover and ebook. This is a shared world anthology slash mosaic novel, 29th in the Wild Cards series, this time a gathering of stories previously published on Tor.com. Authors include Daniel Abraham, who is also half of The Expanse author James S.A. Corey, Jerry Priest, Carrie Vaughn, and Walter John Williams. Now on to the horror. There's great new horror coming out these days 
From Mulholland Books and Gabino Iglesias, we saw The Devil Takes You Home, in hardcover ebook and audio. This is a supernatural thriller slash noir slash horror novel set on the U.S. southwest border. Kirkus describes it like this, a desperate father finds himself drawn into a paranormal underworld faced with a growing stack of medical bills to pay for his daughter's cancer treatments and prone to hallucinatory visions. Mario contracts Brian, an old method acquaintance who sets him up with a contract killing. Mario executes the job with unsettling ease, but discovers otherworldly worms inhabiting the body of the man he just murdered. This first portent signals strange and nasty things to come. Finally, we'll speed up a little from here, because there's a lot to cover. From Yen On and Tomihiko Morimi, we saw Tower of the Sea in hardcover and ebook. This is a fantasy novel. A college student's life falls apart when his girlfriend dumps him, and he and his enormous possibly delusional imagination tear through the streets of Kyoto, translated from the Japanese. From Tin House and Emma Seckle, we saw The Wild Hunt in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel. Lee Wells, drawn by her father's death to the small Scottish island where she grew up, finds the legendary Slugach, the bird-like creatures that carry the souls of the dead are restless. From Bane and Travis S. Taylor, we saw Ballistic and Hardcover and Ebook. This is a near-future military SF novel. An American astronaut must stop Russian terrorists on the International Space Station from using stolen nuclear missiles to attack Earth. Also from Bane, we saw Kevin Eikenberry's The Crossing in Hardcover and Ebook. This is an alternate history slash time travel slash military SF novel, part of Eric Flint's ACT Shards, Shared Universe which also includes the Ring of Fire series. Time-displaced ROTC cadets from 2008 take place in the American Revolutionary War. From Wednesday Books and Kristen Terrell, we saw The Stars Between Us in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a young adult SF novel. Impoverished teen Victoria unexpectedly inherits the fortune of one of the richest men in the planetary system who died under suspicious circumstances. From Union Square and Co. and Melissa Blair, we saw A Broken Blade in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel. Half Fay Kira is forced to serve a cruel, fay hating king who sends her to hunt the mysterious shadow who leads her into the magical ends of the fay. From Delacorte and Delilah S. Dawson, we saw Camp Scare in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a middle grade horror novel slash ghost story. Twelve year old Parker wants fun and new friends at Sleepaway Summer Camp, but finds a nightmare instead. From Soho Crime and Ramona Emerson, we saw Shudder in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a supernatural mystery novel set in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where Navajo forensic photographer Rita Todachin sees ghosts that help point out clues at crime scenes, but they also sabotage her personal life. I don't think ghosts are very good at respecting personal boundaries. I'm getting the sense they're not. From Tegan Books and Christina Fernandez, we saw How to Date a Superhero and Not Die Trying in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a young adult superhero fantasy novel. Astrid struggles to keep up with her pre-med studies and her life as the girlfriend of a superhero. From Aconite and Kate Hertfeld, we saw Assassin's Creed, The Magus Conspiracy in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a gaming tie-in novel. The war between assassins and Templars wreaks havoc in the Victorian era. From Scarlet and Ashton Nunn, we saw Vicious Creatures in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a gothic thriller novel. Ava Montgomery returns to her childhood home in Oregon with her 14-year-old daughter, a place where one child vanishes every 10 years or so. From Random House and Lauren Owen, we saw Small Angels in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a dark fantasy novel. Chloe plans her wedding at a small village church by a wood where an old magic stirs. From Imbifrex and Brett Riley, we saw Travelers in trade paperback, hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a young adult horror novel, the second in the Freaks series. Four bullied high school friends accidentally open a portal to another dimension and gain strange superpowers. And then the problems really start. From Podium Audio and Alan Dean Foster, we saw Prodigals in audio. This is an SF novel. A strangely familiar alien invasion is underway. Print and ebook versions were announced by Wordfire Press, but are not yet available for order. From Oxford University Press and Brian Atterbury, we saw Fantasy, How It Works, in hardcover and ebook. This is a non-fiction critical exploration of the genre, its popularity and relevance to contemporary experience as the lie that speaks truth. Authors covered include Ursula K. Le Guin, C.S. Lewis, George MacDonald, and Nettie Okorafor. Finally, from Sourcebooks Fire, we saw Rachel Griffin's Wild is the Witch in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel. After a night of magic goes wrong, Iris hides that she's a witch, but an angry curse gets away from her, stolen by an owl. I don't, maybe this is just me. I think an owl would be a really fun narrator for a whodunit. Sorry, I did say that my brain is mostly mashed potato today. That means you get puns, sorry, not sorry.
So that's all the books that we're going to tell you about coming out this week. Do us a favor, when you commit to the generation ship, you know, when climate change makes Earth untenable and we don't really have warp drive or anything fun, so we're stuck with generation ships, make sure to tell that next generation of hardy humans looking for a home that they can always find a home in books. And we can tell you about all the books here at the Locust Mag channel. Please like and subscribe. That's the ask. We're going to keep asking. Every week is a new chance to get it right and help us out. We are at Locust Mag or at Locust Magazine on most platforms. And if you'd like to know more about Locust Magazine, we cover SF, fantasy, and horror, and YA books that are coming out. We do monthly book reviews, commentary columns by people like Cory Doctorow. We cover books written in English, books translated into English. We list all of the forthcoming titles from publishers so you know months in advance what's about to come down the pipeline. We interview authors, talk to artists, we report on writers' workshops and conventions, and the magazine been doing that sort of stuff since 1968. Our readers include industry pros, librarians, booksellers, professional writers, and serious readers, people who like to know about what's going on in publishing and what's about to happen next. Go check us out at our website at www.locusmag.com. You can subscribe to the print magazine. Locus is available in a digital edition, or you can donate to what we do via our Patreon or direct donation. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Come back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books.